I need a Macbeth and I need a Lady Macbeth. Cameron B. Macbeth. Lady Macbeth. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Lauren, get up there. Okay, we left off at, but wherefore could not I pronounce amen? I had most need of blessing, and amen stuck in my throat. As a recap, what is Macbeth saying in this scene? That he couldn't pray. That he couldn't pray. He couldn't pray when, though? Standing outside the door. Standing outside the door. Had he killed the people yet? No, he's about to. And why, what happened that he is standing outside the door? Why is he listening to them? One of them had a nightmare, woke up screaming what? Murder. murder, murder. They woke up screaming murder. And what have we seen dreams as being within this play so far? Foreshadowing. 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 Omens for what is possibly to come. So Macbeth is standing outside, and he's hearing these people. Now, if you're Macbeth and you're about to go and murder some people, and you hear them wake up and scream, murder, are you freaked out? Yeah. Yeah. What we're going to see, and I want you to start marking this, is Macbeth's descent into madness. Because what are we seeing right now? He's standing there, and he cannot get his mind off of what's going on right now. He, Lady Macbeth is like, listen, honey, don't worry about it. And he's like, wherefore could I pr not pronounce amen? Why couldn't I say it? Amen stuck in my throat, and I had most need of blessing. Okay, so go, Lady Macbeth and Macbeth. So these deeds must not be thought. Lady these deeds must not be thought after these ways, so it will make us mad. Methought I heard a voice cry, sleep no more. Macbeth does murder sleep, the innocent sleep, sleep that knits up the rabble sleeve of care. The death of each day's life, sore labors fast. Balm of hurt minds, great nature's second course. Chief nourisher in life's feet. Okay, pause make that. When we were talking about this the other day, what was a double entendre? When one, word word has has two when one word has two meanings. What in this recent thing that Macbeth just read is the double entendre? Sleep. 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 What is one meaning of sleep? Yeah. Death. But also, take a nap to go to sleep. Wake for Macbeth doth murder sleep, that innocent sleep. By killing him, he is, by Macbeth killing King Duncan, he is sending him into eternal sleep, which is death. But he is also murdering the innocent sleep that he is sleeping right now at night. All right, all right. Go on, Lady Macbeth. What do you mean? Still it cried, sleep no more, to all the house. Glamis hath murdered, murdered sleep. And therefore, Cardinal shall sleep no more. Macbeth shall sleep no more. Okay. The innocent sleep, the sleep of going to bed at night, which Macbeth calls, calls, the sore laborer's back, balm of hurt minds, great nature's second course. Because what's supposed to happen when you go to sleep? Wake up. You wake up, but how do you wake up, supposedly? Not tired. Not tired, rested, refreshed. When it says here, Glamis hath, Glamis hath murdered sleep, and therefore Caldor shall sleep no more. Macbeth shall sleep no more. Are these people actually crying out? Macbeth doth murder sleep. No, they're not. But he's hearing this as the situation is happening. Because to him, this means Macbeth shall sleep no more. I will never again be able to wake up refreshed and not tired. Continue. We're going to add more to that in a few minutes. Who was it? Thus cried, why were you vain? You do unbend your noble strength to think so courageously of things. Go get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hand. Why did you bring these daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go carry them and spare the sleepy furniture for Okay, pause. What Lady Macbeth did you just discover that Macbeth did wrong? No. He kept the knives. Okay, Lady Macbeth. Oh. He, he kept the knives. He brought them down. What was what was supposed to happen? What was Macbeth supposed to do with the daggers? Right yeah, put him right by the guards, frame the guards, smear the guards with King Duncan's blood. Did Macbeth do any of this, it seems? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He's walking down with King Duncan's blood on his hands, yes, but he also has the daggers. So Lady Macbeth, um, go carry them and smear the sleepy grooms with blood. Says, tells him to do what? Go back upstairs and put the daggers down, you moron. Okay, Macbeth then says... I'll go no more. I'm afraid to think what I have done. Look on 
Look on to Gen. I dare not. Okay, what are you saying there, Macbeth? He's not gonna go up there because he doesn't want to look at him. Exactly. I don't want to see what I did again. Okay, Lady Macbeth, go. In firm of purpose, to be the daggers, the sleeping and the dead, harm, but have pictures. Tis the eye of childhood, that fears a painted devil. If you do bleed, I will gild the faces of the curtain with a bold roar, it must seem their guilt. Okay, so what, are, what is Lady Macbeth going to do? She's going to go up there and do it herself. So we've already seen examples of Lady Macbeth and Macbeth defying typical, stereotypical marriages. How does this further that? She doing all the work right now? Yeah, she's doing all the work. Because Macbeth did what? Got scared. Got scared. He brought down the daggers. He messed up. And what is Lady Macbeth going to do? She's going to go up there and she's going to fix it herself. Good job, Lucy. Okay. Now, this is one of my favorite parts. Go on. Okay, so Lady Macbeth exits, so you can sit down for a minute, Lauren. So if Lady Macbeth is gone, where, where is he? Soliloquy. This is a soliloquy, which means that on the stage alone, it's truthful. It's only truth. Okay, go ahead, Macbeth. How is it with me when every noise appalls me? What hands are here had they plucked out mine eyes? Will all great Neptune's oceans wash this blood clean from my hand? No, this is my hand, but rather the multi multitudinous multitudinous <laughs> sea of Encarden, making the green one red. Okay, pause here. What in any situation, really? Especially religious ceremonies, does water symbolize? Purity. Cleansing, purity. What else? Holiness. What? Holiness. Holiness, new birth. So, is Macbeth just saying, will, okay, when he, when he says here, will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean from my hand? Is he saying simply to get the blood off of his hands in a physical sense? No, what is he saying, Blake? that he wants to be cleansed and forgiven. Will all of the water in the ocean cleanse me? This is a theme that we see a lot, and Shakespeare uses it a lot. In Hamlet he uses it, is there not, Claudia says, is there not enough rain in the sweet heavens to wash my hand as white as snow? This idea of cleansing yourself from the blood, because when you spill someone else's blood, that is the greatest and gravest of sins. But why is this different than Macbeth being a war hero? Because he did it for himself. Yeah, he did it for himself. It's the same as why is tackling someone in the hallway different from tackling someone on the football field? It's, you can compare the two situations. Because why is it different? Why is it different to tackle someone in the hallway than to tackle someone on the football field? There's no reason. Yeah, there's no, it's not a part of the game. Football is a game. War is a game. The war games. Have you ever heard of that? Okay. Okay, so Lady Macbeth comes back. And Justin shares a book. <laughs> My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. Okay, what is Lady Macbeth saying here? My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. What, what, Alyssa? Mm -hmm. No, go ahead. I'm going to do that. Yeah, but what, my hands are of your color, what does that mean? Leave that out of Justin. Yeah, she has blood on them. My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. So Macbeth is standing here, and what is he feeling? Sad. Sad. Guilt, remorse, utter remorse. Wondering if there will ever be a situation that will be able to purify him again. And Lady Macbeth waltzes back onto the scene, and what does she say? Yeah, took care of it. I did the same thing that you did. I am part of this murder now, especially, too. And I am guilt-free. This is a huge indication of Lady Macbeth's character. As if, if you ever need reminding of the differences between the two characters, go back to this scene, scene 2.2.